So here we go. You've just seen the instructions um, for the day, what we've actually got to do. I've actually loaded the passengers and away we go. Now, there's been a crash on the line. In fact, I think a bus has uh, hit a train or a train's hit a bus uh, on one of the level crossings and we're operating a, uh, a shuttle type system today. Now to play this today you will need Train Simulator 2018 with the North Wales Coastal um, add-on and this item is available in the uh, in the Steam Workshop. It's a Steam Workshop scenario. <laughs> now I don't know if it's still the same in the uh, in the uh, on the uh, Steam store page, should I say, but um, to actually get this North Wales um, coastal add-on, you've got to rebuy Train Simulator 2018, the upgrade, and you just get a few extra add-ons, um, and one of them is the North Wales um, coastal add-on. I don't think you can buy it separately yet, which is a shame, really. So, there we go. Now this is quite a slow line actually, it's quite a, there's quite a number of um, speed regulations on the line that we are supposed to adhere to. <laughs> I say supposed because I'm no expert, I'm no expert driver. I think we can actually speed up. I'm, see, I've not been paying attention, and this is the second time I've actually done this uh, Steam Workshop scenario. <laughs> oh dear. It's one thing about being a train driver, isn't it? You've got to pay attention all the time. What you will notice as soon as you do actually speed up on this uh, particular scenario because of the uh, the amount of speed regulations on it you do have to slow down <laughs> So, we're approaching our first stop of the day. I'm not too sure if this is the station with the revel, with the, uh, with the, revel, with the uh, level crossing that's uh, got the incident on it. We'll see. I don't think it is, I think it's the next one up. I think it's the next station after this. Um, where the lines actually uh, closed on one side. That guy in that brown suit, he does get about a bit, doesn't he?
No, there you go. I was wrong. It's actually this station where there's been a major incident. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> the train's hit the buzz or the buzzies hit the train. It's, uh, the, looks like the little workmen there are just uh, clearing it all up. Can't see any uh, impact damage. It must have just been a little, a little nudge. <laughs> so that's the reason why we're operating this uh, reduced service today on this uh, on this line. There we go, we're speeding. Speeding penalties again. I uh, I tend to fall victim um, to speeding quite a lot. The trouble is when you go in the Steam Workshop um, looking for these scenarios, um, a lot of them don't work anymore. A lot of them, you know, are, are what they call retired, it seems. So uh, you can't actually play them. It's a shame that they can't sort all them out um, somehow because... Um, there's nothing worse than finding one you think, oh that looks good, to load it into your game, to install it, to find that it doesn't uh, no longer work. So we're on our way to Landudno Platform 2, um, where we've got to unload the passengers, and then basically all we do is come all the way back, and that's the scenario. It lasts for about, I'd say about 25 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes, um, depending if you can, uh, obviously you can do it quicker, if you can stick to the speed limits, you know, a lot better than what I do, you'll probably, uh, if it, it must probably about 20 minutes long. So I really enjoyed playing this um, train simulator just recently. I've had about a week on it. I've had a look at some of the DLCs. Um, there's an awful lot of DLCs. If you had all that DLC up on the Steam um, store page, it's about £2,000 worth of DLC. There's an awful lot of DLC. And there seems to be an awful lot of rubbish there as well. Because it's hard to know what's the good stuff to buy the good items to buy because it's so expensive what what are the good ones to buy if anybody's got any good rec recommendations uh, put it in the comments section below because it's hard to know what to buy some of them just don't seem or worth the money i brought one i'm not going to say which one it was but i brought one the other day it cost me 20 pounds and i'm telling you it was so badly optimized that it was absolutely rubbish and the scenery was just so bland 
I mean, I could have probably have done that myself in the map editor on this, but uh, it was awful, and uh, I, I requested a refund. And then I brought um, the one where you go over Shap, is it, in the United Kingdom? And it's based in 1985, and that is absolutely awesome. And it was just a couple of pounds more, and I can't, I couldn't justify the price between the two because the other one, which I asked for a refund, I have to say was utter rubbish. It was rubbish, and then this one was absolutely amazing, and the optimization was a lot better. The scenery is absolutely awesome. I've not put any footage up yet on my YouTube channel, but I will do. But uh, that one, um, going over um, Shap, was absolutely awesome. I think it was the uh, w, w, WCML um, over Shap. That is absolutely awesome. So if you're new to the game, you're wondering what to buy, I, I, I for one, can recommend that. Can anybody else recommend any others? Um, because it's a little bit difficult knowing what to buy and what not to buy um, for this game, Train Simulator. So there we go guys, we've been operating a shuttle service today and it's not actually over. We've got to unload the passengers here and we go all the way back. Now, I'm not going to go all the way back and do the exact same thing. Um, if you've not played this scenario, it's currently in the Steam Workshop. You will need the North Wales Coastal um, add-on. Of which, at the moment, you've got to buy the game again. <laughs> oh, dear. And um, you can do this, and you can come up to this station and go back. So, um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And girls. And uh, I'm going to load my passengers now and I'm going to do the return journey. And my voice is going because I think I've caught a little bit of a cold up here in Wales. And uh, I'll see you all again. And those of you who are sending me messages saying, what will we play more, Euro Truck Simulator? Um, I will be playing Euro Truck Simulator. I've got over 200 videos of Euro Truck. I'm doing it all the time. Just having a little bit of a break. I do like to play other games. But uh, yes, I will still be playing Euro Truck Simulator 2 and American Truck Simulator and many many others so uh, there you go thanks for watching guys